Hey, this is Charlotte with PhotoHackLovers.com. What time is it? Yes, it's that time to do some photo hacking, guys. Um, and uh, this is Charlotte here with uh, PhotoHackLovers.com. And we are going to be creating a cool bubble uh, tutorial. Um, we're going to be creating this right here. Um, it's like a soap a bubble a text effect. Um, you can create this. Um, we're going to create our own styles and we're going to create this effect um, hopefully in under five minutes. So um, let's get started. Now you can create your document any size you want. It just depends on the project. You can do whatever background you want. I'm actually creating a gradient here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my typography tool type tool and I'm going to type out the word bubbles now you can use whatever font you want I suggest it to be a big thick one um, that kind of represents bubbles um, I'm using Allard display at 72 point I do believe that's a free standard font um, not sure you might be able to find it on the web or you can use a similar font um, the way you can do that is you can go to here if you are subscribed to Photoshop CC um, with the Adobe Creative Suite um, you have all the latest features which is one of the great reasons to actually pay for the subscription um, you can actually um, set your um, type search engine I'm not really sure exactly what the technical term for it is um, but you can search by sans serif um, you can uh, search by slab serif um, or decorative um, you can pretty much search how you want and if you want to go back to the original font um, it's right up here so um, there we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer it's going to make a bubble copy and then we're going to create a new layer and we're going to name this um, a stroke all right we're going to turn off the copy we're going to go to bubbles okay so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on bubbles and we're going to click create work path okay now we're going to go to this the uh, I'm sorry we're going to go to paths and then right click and pick make selection and your feather radius should be seven and press ok now we're going to go back to layers okay we're going to rasterize this type and then we're going to hit delete okay and press control D now um, for this next um, thing we're going to create um, a, a new layer and and we're going to name this layer um, rainbow and what we're going to do is on this rainbow layer we're going to create a little palette let me get my brush so we're going to use this bright pink and i'm using um kyle's real watercolor brushes of course you're welcome to use whatever brushes that you want um, Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and what we're going to do is we're going to just color lightly on the outside. Okay. Oh, that's too dark. I'm going to lower the opacity and the flow. And 
It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're just giving the effect of whenever you see a bubble, it just has kind of like a rainbowy type um, effect. Kind of like um, whenever you see a soap bubble, you can see like a little rainbow in it. And so we're not gonna use all the colors, we're gonna just use some major colors here. Um, and don't worry if you mess up, um, we'll fix that later. We're just lightly scrubbing the edges. And now we're going to pick a different color. Um, it's going to be like a brighter, I would say more like a turquoisey green. Hmm. No, I'm not liking that. Let's look at swatches. See, that one looks good. No. Yeah, that one looks good. Okay. So, no, that's not green enough. Let me just use this one. That looks good. Actually, there's something off with this brush. It's not actually like brushing where I'm wanting it to. I'm gonna use a different brush. Let's see how this one works. Yeah, that looks good. just getting some color in here. I know it looks kind of sloppy, but it will look good in the end. And, and we can get some purple. And some blue, some bright blue. Trying to just create that rainbowy effect. And get some brightness in here. up there. Okay. And probably a little bit yellow. Just to dash it off. Just a dab of yellow. Not too much. go to filter blur and Gaussian blur but you want to turn it down just a little bit okay so now we're gonna control click bubbles and then select rainbow go to select Inverse. Whoops. Select. Inverse. Delete. And that deletes everything that we colored outside the lines. Okay. So. 
now we're going to go to our next step. Okay, so now that this part is done, um, you can just control click both of those and merge those layers together. Okay, and we're going to create a bubble plate. Okay, and we can put the copy behind that layer and then we are going to um, go ahead and actually I don't know why I need this stroke um, it's actually it is a stroke but it's like kind of like a highlight so I'm gonna just put a highlight here um, you're gonna grab your pen tool and where is the pen tool the pen tool okay and you're going to just kind of like just draw out like kind of like I don't know kind of like a tear duct type thing uh, I don't know like it kind of looks like a canoe and then where you're going to go is to paths, create selection, you're going to change the color to white, but not completely white. I would choose like F6 E E E E E and then press control, control delete. And then you have like a little freaking highlight there. And then you can just press control T to um, adjust it and I think this one's a little bit too big so I'm gonna just resize it and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna and let me turn down the transparency on that let me go back to layers um, let's let's lower the fill oh uh, yeah okay that looks about right Let's look at our original. Actually, it's a little bit brighter. Maybe a different color. Maybe I need a brighter color. Um, how about that? Not too shabby. I'm gonna delete out some of the middle because it looks a little bit too chunky. I'm going to take the eraser tool there and kind of just make it a little bit more curved. Okay. And you kind of just kind of like want to follow like the curve of the, the type. There. I just don't know why that one is just like so dull looking. I don't know if it's just me. But I'm going to um, duplicate this, press control T, and we're just gonna just use this thing multiple times here around the bend. Just continue until you've finished.
you can just like right click on it and it will move it every single time. If you have an overlapping video, you can just delete it. And try to make it look as convincing as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Almost done here. And as you can see, that is the finished result. Those are the bubbles. Now, um, I went ahead and created some cool brushes. Um, it comes with the, uh, the pack here and these are just like little bubbles that you can I don't know use as part of the design whoops I needed to create a new layer my bad so we're just going to merge all the highlighted layers together and this, we're just going to rename that to highlight light okay and we're gonna create a new layer and we're going to use we'll just name this bubble brush okay and we're gonna get our brush out and we're gonna select the layer we're gonna just need a white brush it doesn't really matter what color because we're gonna change it why is it so dull? Oh, because our flow is set. Of course you need to have your flow and opacity set to 100%. Um, and I am using, well, this is a custom brush, so um, you have these in the source file, so you can use these. So I've already made the pattern. Um, basically what I did was I made a white stroke and I did the rainbow effect and then I made a pattern out of it so you can use this um, on bubbles. Um, you can apply the snap to the origin um, and it gives it um, a matching effect. So, cause if you look, see, it looks pretty cool. But if you create a new layer and make the bubble just a white bubble, it looks kind of weird because bubbles aren't just white but they have like a rainbow effect to them so if we go back to the layer with the style on it you could just basically um, resize your brush make them bigger make them smaller um, if you double click it'll make it a little brighter um, make it a little smaller um, and then I also included in the layer um, these really cool um, bubbles that I've made and vectorized. Um, you can put these in the back. And these bubbles you can just place in the corner here to create the same effect that I did. And that's pretty much it. Um, bubbles galore. <laughs> now, um, you can also um, let's go back to the bubble type. You can make it pop a little bit more. Um, I'm going to just go back to the bubble type and you can do like an inner glow. Uh, normal. Um, which you can like make the whites brighter. A little bit um, and give it a little bit more of a pop um, you can also 
um, add a bevel and emboss um, to it and you can also add an inner shadow um, you can change that and that gives it a little bit more um, dimension and effect um, you can make it look more realistic or non-realistic um, you just with Photoshop I mean a lot of people ask me how I got so good at Photoshop um, just hours of playing with different effects you won't know what works unless you play around with it you have to experiment um, I had an argument online the other day and who doesn't have arguments and you know the and I made a video about it it's the difference between um, traditional art and digital art is digital art harder and I would say both of them are pretty difficult um, but he you know insinuated that you can learn Photoshop in 38 minutes or less um, I've been using Photoshop for 15 years and it still holds many secrets um, there's things I learn every single day um, every single day I learn something new you never stop learning um, it never ends um, so while some people would think um, at a certain point that I'm a master at Photoshop I'm, I'm nowhere nowhere near mastered anything you never stop learning that's one thing you just have to be passionate about it and you have to spend time with it um, I don't consider this a chore I do this every single day like I'm in Photoshop every single day I don't know if <laughs> if I could take one thing with me it would be Photoshop I literally live for it but just play around with the settings um, your homework is to experiment make a new typeset try to come up with something new that's never been invented before um, you know um, think of things write them down um, everywhere around you is inspiration even and if sometimes when I have a hard time for inspiration for typography or art I listen to music I find great inspiration for music but thanks so guys thanks so <laughs> uh, I can't even talk um, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video subscribe um, and uh, smash that like button have a great day.